Hey there everyone, welcome to our series Automate the Boring Stuff in ANSYS Mechanical. In this video, we will be looking at name selection. So let's understand the benefits of name selection. Uh, suppose you have a force, in that force you are applying forces to all these faces. Okay, now uh, let's say you have a requirement coming later that no, instead of applying all the forces in x direction or the surfaces which are normal to positive x direction you have to apply to uh, uh, the faces that are normal to positive y direction so what you will do is you will just go back select all these faces and then update your faces but this is not the right way okay let's say you have uh, one more uh, let's duplicate it you have one more force which is also using the same faces so to change this what you will do you will go to each and every forces and change it and let's say you have one more uh, analysis maybe uh, maybe something like or maybe a duplicate uh, static structural analysis so in that case what will happen is you have to go to every uh, forces and you have to update the changes and let uh, there is also a trick to uh, update the forces so you can just select both drag it drop it into second so you will see that both are duplicated but this is not the right approach so what you have to do is you have to select all the faces which are common for example let's call it as uh, name faces and right click on create name selection we will put as pressure underscore faces so once you do that we will scope uh, name selection pressure faces here similarly for all so once you do uh, let's not create it we will just duplicate it drag and drop so you will see that all these faces have, are applied to a name selection instead of a um, faces uh, the name selection in turn has us, has faces so what you will do in future if you see that requirement is changing and instead of positive y again they are asking to apply on uh, x direction you will just go to the name selection and update it you will see all the forces are updated similarly so this is the benefit of name selection uh, I have seen many people not using this name selection, but name selection is very much useful. Yeah, you should also follow a proper naming convention because uh, if you are automating something, then you can see whether the name selection name starts with pressure or maybe a force. For example, this faces will be for a force. So I will just press N here. It will automatically come. I will type force underscore. This is uh, minus Z. Okay. Uh, so you will see, you will see that uh, whoever uh, who, the name selection whose name starts with force, you have to apply a force. You know, the name selection that starts with pressure, apply a pressure on it. So this kind of, if you use this kind of naming convention, it will be very useful. Let's understand how to create name selection. So right now I will delete all these name selections, uh, even uh, delete the parent, and also delete the forces. Uh, so to access name selection or create a name selection what you have to do is you have to go to model dot then add name selection so as you saw it's uh, it returns a i list uh, no this one yeah uh, so you you see that there are two parent uh, there are parentheses here so it's a function so we have to uh, enter parentheses and it will return a name selection object so let's assign it to some name so i will call it as ns <coughs> Mm. and then you will see the name is created now here i what i will do is i will put ns dot name and we will give a meaningful name as i said pressure underscore faces okay so it got changed to pressure faces now we need to assign geometry to it so let's see so what i will do is maybe you are doing some automation you are running a loop you are checking that okay uh, the coordinate of the faces should be so and so for the time being i will just enter all this so this is nothing but uh, selections like uh, you are using selection manager to select it so to assign that faces you need selection info so how do i know uh, so how to access the location of it so you have to type ns dot location most of the scoping will be done through location like uh, force dot location pressure dot location point mass dot location remote point dot location even name selection dot location so you will see it is a get and set property so you can either get or even set and that type should be i selection info so right now i selection info is empty here uh, first we will use 
uh, we will create a name selection using the current selection. So, what, how to do that? So, you have to go to entry point ext api dot uh, selection manager, then create selection info. So, what it returns? Uh, this returns a new object of set, uh, selection info, but I want to use the uh, existing one. So, I will just type here current selection. So, you will see you will get a selection info. It is not a function, no need to add parenthesis here. I will add it to this cell info here. Uh, Let us, uh, I mean, I will add it to a variable. So, you will see cell info is having these three IDs, which is equivalent to this 34, 71, and 60. So, now uh, NS, I will just assign this selection info to this NS dot location. So, you do not have to uh, play around with the IDs of this selection info or location IDs. All you have to do is just go to ns dot location and assign it with cell info that is it. So, you will see three faces are already assigned to this uh, to this uh, location of this uh, name selection. You I think you can access the IDs as well. So, yeah IDs. So, you will see you will get IDs. So, this is actually a list. So, if you check, check the type of it. So, you should get I list. Uh, yeah, it is a list. Okay. So, there is one more way to do that. Uh, instead of that, assigning the uh, selection info directly you can also assign the ids so dot ids yes. so it's a get and set property here we will do cell info dot ids if you have ids already somewhere stored in a list variable you can also do that there is, it is the same thing now let's see how do we use this name selection into some uh, features so let's create a point mass here so we can do model dot uh, geometry dot add point mass it's a function you have to put a parenthesis so right now you will see pm dot location is empty now there are a couple of ways to do that so if you click on this you will see scoping method is geometry and name selection now for the time being in uh, api uh, act api you have no uh, i mean you cannot choose this geometry selection and name selection what happens is if you choose uh, faces through the selection manager, it will automatically become geometry selection. And if you add name selection, it will automatically automatically change into name selection. So let's show you that. So pm dot location here. I already have selection info, so I will just enter cell info. So you will see it is a geometry selection and it's three faces. What happens if I change it to name selection? So what I will do is uh, pm dot location is equal to uh, the name selection. We have named it as ns. Just type ns, no need to go to any entry or nothing. So it accepts both uh, name selection and also uh, I selection info. So, if I do that, you will see this become pressure faces and this automatically become name selection. Okay. So, uh, you do not have to change this method, it automatically deters whether this entry, I mean, whatever the location is coming in, it is a name selection or it is a geometry selection. Based on that, this scope method will change and then. From here, you can access all those mass, mass moment of inertia and everything. So, this was a short video on name selection. Uh, hope to see you in next video. Thank you. Have a good rest of your day and do subscribe and hit the bell icon. Thank you.